Hello everybody and welcome back to our discussion on function. We're still talking about domain and range. For this video, I am going to talk about how to determine the domain and range of a function if we are given the graph of a function. But before we do that, let us recall the definition of the domain and range. So the domain is the set of possible input values to a function while the range is the set of all possible output values of a function. Now let's try to determine the domain and range of a given function using graph. Okay, so let us determine the domain and range of this first graph. Okay, so this is a function because it it if we pass a vertical line using the vertical line test we can say this is a function, right? So what are the uh, possible values of x in this case? Okay, remember, uh, yung domain is the set of all possible values of x. Right? So the domain of this function it starts from negative 5. Right? Kasi dito lang nagsimula yung graph. Magsimula tayo dito, mag-end tayo dito. Kasi yan lang yung... Uh, proximity ba ng graph natin. Okay? So, our domain is from negative 5 to positive 3. Since meron tayong solid dito, solid, ibig sabihin included yung negative 5. Dito meron tayong open circle. Ibig sabihin hindi kasali si positive 3. Okay? So, therefore, our domain is uh, x is greater than or equal to negative 5 but less than positive 3. Okay, that's using the uh, set builder notation. Okay, we can also write this using the interval notation as negative 5 to positive 3 open. Okay, how about the range? When we talk about the range, we talk about the y values naman, ano? So, the y values starts dito, naman? Magsimula tayo dito sa baba, mag end siya dito sa taas, dito sa positive 2. Okay? So, yung range natin ay from 0 to positive 2. Yan yung range. Kasali ba si 0? No? Because it touches the x-axis, naman? So, kasali yung 0, kasali ba yung positive 2? Although hindi kasali dito kasi open circle yan, kasali naman siya dito kasi this is a closed circle. Okay? So, still, in the range, kasali si positive 2. Therefore, x is greater than or equal. Uh, I mean, this is y, di ba? Kasi y na. Range. So, y is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to positive 2. Using the interval notation, so this is from 0 to 2. Let us take a look at uh, this other graph. So the range or the domain of this function starts from here hanggang dito. Okay? So, this is the range, uh, domain, from negative 3, kasali si negative 3, to positive 2, hindi kasali si positive 2. Okay, so x is greater than or equal to negative 3, but less than 2. Okay, using interval notation, this is negative 3, 2. Range. Okay, range is the... Um, values of y. Okay, magsimula tayo dito sa baba. Ito yung pinakababa. That's negative 5. Papunta dito sa pinakamataas. That's positive 4. Okay, included si negative 5. Included din si positive 4. So, therefore, the range y is greater than or equal to negative 5 but less than or equal to positive 4. Okay, using interval notation, we have negative 5 positive 4. Okay? So that's how you determine the domain and range of a function 
if you are given a graph. Okay? 